In your Ream Stellar Gas water heater, there is a small pilot flame that should remain alight at all times. This small flame lights the main burner whenever water in the tank needs heating. If you can't get hot water, it may be because the pilot flame has gone out and thus there is no way for the main burner to be relit. This could occur for a number of reasons, such as strong winds, gas maintenance work carried out in the street, or an empty LPG cylinder. Today, we'll show you the safe, correct way to relight your gas water heater. As you'll see, it's quite easy. However, it is vital that you follow this procedure exactly to prevent a buildup of gas, which, if ignites, can cause serious injury. Before beginning, ensure all flames and ignition sources, including cigarettes and lighters, are kept well away from the area. First, remove the access panel. The instructions for relighting are clearly laid out inside this panel. It is important to ensure there are no gas leaks. This is best done by simply smelling for gas especially down near floor level where gas can accumulate. If you smell gas, turn the gas control knob to the off position, shut off the isolation valve in the gas line, leave the area and call for a qualified service technician. Once you've confirmed there are no gas leaks, turn the gas control knob fully clockwise to the off position you should feel the control knob click into the off position. Do not use tools to turn the knob. If you cannot turn the knob by hand, call a service technician or licensed gas fitter. It is vital at this point that you wait five minutes for any unburned gas to escape. If you do not wait the full five minutes, residual gas may ignite and cause serious injury. Once five minutes has elapsed, we are ready to light the pilot using the igniter button. You must remember that this button produces a spark that will ignite any gas that is nearby. This is why it is so important that you turn the control knob to off and wait five minutes for gas to dissipate before every time you use the igniter button. Next, turn the control knob to the pilot position. This is the symbol that looks like a starburst. Depress the control knob fully and keep holding the knob down to allow sufficient gas to flow to the pilot light. After waiting for 30 seconds with the control knob held down, keep the control knob down and now press the igniter button repeatedly for about 40 seconds. Keep your face clear of the combustion chamber. At this point, the pilot should be alight. It is important that you continue to hold the control knob down for a further 20 seconds for the pilot light to establish itself. You can now release the knob. Once the control knob is released, check that the pilot is alight. Do this by looking into the combustion chamber just below the gas control. The pilot will be visible as a very small blue flame. If the pilot is not alight, it is vital that you turn the gas control knob to off. Then, once again, wait five minutes for gas to disperse. Once five minutes is up, begin the pilot lighting process again from the start. Back where we turn the control knob from the off position to the pilot position. Once the pilot is alight, it's important for your safety that you remove your face from directly in front of the combustion chamber opening. Then, turn the control knob anti-clockwise to at least six. This will allow the main burner to light whenever the water needs heating. When the main burner lights up, it can be a little noisy for the first two to five seconds. This is perfectly normal. It will very soon settle down to a quiet flame. You can now replace the access panel. As you can see, 
It's a straightforward procedure, but does need to be followed exactly. Turn the control knob to off. Wait five minutes for gas to disperse. Now turn the control knob to pilot. Press the control knob down for 30 seconds. Keep holding the control knob down. Press the igniter repeatedly for 40 seconds. Keep holding the control knob down for a further 20 seconds while the pilot establishes itself. Check the pilot. If the pilot is alight, pull your face away and turn the control knob to at least six. Remember, if at any time during the lighting process the pilot flame is not alight when you expect it to be, turn the gas control to off and wait five minutes before starting again. If you are unsure of the lighting process or the burner does not light as expected, call Ream Service on 131 031. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoy many more years of safe, steady hot water.